What's up, Chris? Super Let's go. Good. How are you? All right, guys. Welcome to our Thursday AMA. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a pretty cool one here for you guys today. Um, obviously, uh, ETH is sitting at over $2,000, which we haven't seen in quite a while. So that is a major indicator for me. And honestly, when I saw that this morning, it actually happened last night for me, but I saw it in the morning. Uh, I had a pretty good idea that I want to start implementing for, I want to, I want to throw Shiba Doge in high gear because what this indicates for me, what the new uh, price of ETH indicates for me is that, okay, two things, the Shanghai four cap in, right? Shanghai four cap in, uh, everybody thought that ETH was going to take a hit from that because people were like, yo, people are getting all their ETH on stake. They're going to sell it. They're going to dump the price, blah, blah, blah. My theory behind it was, no, they're not going to do that. My theory behind it was they're going to just restake it or hold on to it because a lot of these guys, you know, they're in major profits. They probably bought ETH at like 100, 200 bucks, and they're gaining um, a bunch of interest on their ETH just by staking it. So it makes no sense to, a, to a, in, uh, you know, in a financial standpoint to sell it. And I mean, I'm sure some people did, but... Um, a lot of these guys are just going to stake it again. So anyway, that's irrelevant. It's completely irrelevant to, to everything that's going on. But just wanted to, to mention that um, I do want to change things here um, as an experiment for maybe about a month, maybe two months. So I want to try something new because I do think we're going to be able to penetrate a broader audience of people. I feel like having these AMAs here on Telegram um, we're not penetrating a new audience and it's an opportunity wasted. Um, so I, I, I've come up with a new idea considering it's still early into the start of the bull market. I think, uh, starting something new is, uh, good, going to be good for the project. And, and what I mean by starting something new is I want to transition over having the AMAs here on telegram. I want to have them exclusively on Twitter spaces for like probably the next like two months or even longer, depending on how well they perform. Um, I want to do that considering all of the traction that Twitter is having right now to uh, becoming the everything app. Uh, Twitter actually also announced that they're going to support uh, cryptocurrency trading on their platform in the future as well. If there's any exchange that I've ever wanted to be on, I'd want to be on Twitter's exchange. <laughs> so. That's going to be something uh, to, to look out for. But here's the deal. This is what I want to experiment with, and this is what I want to try to do. Instead of having two AMAs weekly in our Telegram, I want to do one big AMA every week on Twitter spaces. And the way that we could promote the, promote the spaces and the way that we can actually monetize it and have a trend on Twitter, uh, I think is going to be a lot easier for us to penetrate a new audience rather than just speaking to a lot of the same people uh, week after week in here and not not penetrating a newer audience. Right now, we're seeing 15 to 30 new members, new holders a day in our project. Um, so that's a good indication of where we're at currently, which is really good. It's very, very solid considering um, you know a lot of circumstances. I've, I actually had somebody reach out to me today is an old um, community member of ours, like somebody who was in, in in and out, like within like the first week or two, right? But he messaged me and I was like, what the heck was, what, what does this guy want from me? And he was like, hey, I, I was just going through my Telegram and I, I saw your name popped up and I, I just wanted to check in with you. He's like, I still follow the Shiba Do chat and I still follow what you guys are doing. And <clears throat> he's like, bro, you guys are killing it compared to everything else that, that I'd been in and out of over the past year. And that, that, that felt good, right? That felt good to hear from somebody who's not really even actively involved in our community. So, um, you know, we do have people who, who are watching from the outside, um, but for the next two months, probably next month, next two months, I want to exclusively do uh, Twitter spaces and only that, because once a week, every single week without missing a beat, I want to experiment and do that. Um, 
And when I do come in for VCs on Telegram, I don't want them to be like, I don't want them to be like AMAs. I want them to just be like me coming in and hanging out with you guys because you guys are the core community of, of, of our project, right? So what do I think we're going to get out of this? I think we're going to be um, presenting ourselves to a global audience every single time we go on stage. Uh, I believe we're going to be seeing a lot of new faces. I believe we're going to be doing a lot of new collaborations considering like the Twitter space community is pretty niche and and everybody kind of knows everybody involved in there. So I think if we're consistent enough and professional enough, we can we can open new doors to new influencers and new um, uh, just faces on the platform that actually host bigger spaces as well. And if we could consistently be on board with doing things with them, uh, I think our reach is going to be extremely well moving into the bull market. Uh, the bigger we get on Twitter and the bigger we get, uh, uh, the more recognizable we get on Twitter, the better for us uh, and the better for us as a community. We won't just uh, completely stop doing Telegram AMAs, that it'll still be a thing. But my primary focus is to actually just like have one big, nice Twitter show every single week, once a week, right? And I think that'll be a lot better because um, what I could do is if I'm not you know, coming up for AMAs every other day, like, like we're doing right now, right? Um, every Monday and every Thursday, it creates, uh, a little bit of like a lull in, in like one of the AMAs, right? So I might come in on Monday and say something like revolutionary and something, something crazy. And then Thursday I might come in and be like, Oh, well, you know, I don't have any extra news for you guys. So I think having them once a week on Twitter spaces, will have much more people attend. And we'll have a lot more to talk about in one given time. And then on top of that, we can also like start doing different types of uh, events on Twitter spaces too. So yeah, man, I mean, it's, it's a crypto crack. It says it should be a great idea because we're already at 85K followers on Twitter. So yeah, exactly, man. So yeah, we have 85,000 on Twitter. Plus on top of that, we have all of these people who we collab and work with who are also Twitter influencers that we can reach out to and have them retweet our space. We can have them, um, we can have them do all kinds of things. So yeah, man, I think we could, we could see a lot of people on board. Let me check about, I got a DM real quick. Let me check this real fast. Okay. All right, nobody. I got your, I got your DM, bro. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with that right after this. But yeah, man. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys like that idea? Do you guys think that's something that um, you can, you guys see the benefit of what, I, what I'm trying to get at with this? Yeah. Twitter is the place to be in. To be I believe so, buddy. Yeah, man. I think it's going to be good. I, re I really do think it's going to be good. I was talking to Peter today. And, and that's, that's kind of what we came up with, right? We're like Twitter, we were talking about Twitter and how Twitter is starting to um, become like a everything app is what Elon wants. That, that's what he wants to do with it, right? He wants to have like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with WeChat, but um, China and a lot of um, countries on that side of the world, they use something called WeChat. And what WeChat is, is you can literally do everything. It's like Facebook, PayPal, Uber, um, stock trading, your Apple Pay wallet, your Google Pay wallet, all, all that shit, all combined into one app. And I think that's what Elon wants to do with Twitter. So what does that mean? That, that just means a lot of people are going to be using Twitter for a lot more things other than just tweeting. So uh, that, that would mean a lot of people would be um, kind of, kind of, uh, how can I say it? A lot more people are going to be on the app, which means if we hold host our AMAs, there will have a lot more reach, especially if one AMA goes viral every now and then, you know, and we bring in tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of viewers on a single one, that that could be all it takes to really start the snowball effect. So I think consistency is key on this end. Um, somebody just asked, oh, what about YouTube? Yeah, uh, we, we will do YouTube simultaneously because um, Roof already, uh, streams all of our all of our AMAs on YouTube anyway. So 
So YouTube would still happen automatically. Right, right, Roof? That's how it works. You'd still be able yeah. to, to stream the Twitter spaces. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't matter where yeah, you are. You always get streamed live. Mm -hmm. could, could be Discord, Twitter, yeah. Telegram. Yeah. It don't matter. So look, this is the way that I, I, I look at YouTube, right? <clears throat> I don't think a lot of people go on YouTube and listen to all of our AMAs because they're like an hour, two, sometimes two hours long. Um, I'm sure there is a, a, a some amount of people that go and listen to them, but there's a lot of people who like don't want to listen to an hour long, two hour long AMA unless they're there live listening to it. Um, so, how do we defeat that problem? I think that problem is easily defeated by catching the attention of a bigger, broader audience on Twitter. And Man, I, I do think that we have a very strong position in in attracting a lot of attention because think about it. We think about it like we survived the bear market. Not only did we survive the bear market, we thrived in the bear market. We built in the bear market. We made a a pretty good name for ourselves in the bear market. Uh, pretty much the birth of Shiba Doge happened in the bear market. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, we launched during the peak of the bull market. Yeah, sure, okay, we'll take that. But immediately by a blink of an eye, the bear market showed showed its face, right? So our whole existence was like 5% bull market, 95% bear market so far. So it is, in, in, it's pretty impressive to me, man. In my opinion, it's very impressive that, that we were able to grow at the rate and size and speed and uh everything that you know we did the way that we grew in the bear market is is truly impressive yeah i mean you do see projects popping up left and right that are doing cool things but nobody sticks around man it, that's the sad truth nobody sticks around and i think i think um the space right now the the, the meme coin space and just, just the altcoin space in general volume is extremely low right for everybody across the board but that's how it happens. It comes and goes in waves. And I think if we can bring on a lot of people before that next wave happens, I think we're going to be a very, very big force in nature because not only will we be doing good, but there will also be a ton of people, tens of thousands of people, if not hundreds of thousands of people, extremely happy with the results that they're getting by being a part of the project. So. What does that do for us? That just means that people are going to go up, continue to say positive things about Shiba Doge, continue to say positive things about Burn, continue to say positive things about Roof. So, you know, all in all, in general, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> all in all, in general, I think this is the right move, um, considering we're building some stuff in the background. So while we're building some things and there are, you know, like... Um, uh, uh still a, a roadmap of things that are coming out like uh the armory like season three like you know um some of the plays that we're going to be doing with the armory so like you know we do have like a, a roadmap of things that are coming out in a very short-term basis but in the long-term basis i think what we can focus on i think we have a good foundation to actually start this marketing grind again and instead of us going there and paying and having like things be retweeted that people are just going to scroll through I think it's better we just put in the elbow grease, put in the hard work, and actually just go on there and grind on Twitter Spaces and and make our voices heard. And I think I think that's what it's going to take to to really penetrate the, the broader audience and bring new people on board. Maybe people have heard of Shiba Doge, but they don't know that we're as serious as we are. So I think it's a I think it's a big opportunity for us to go show people what we truly are, who we really are, and and what we can truly achieve together as a as a community and as a project so i think that's i think that's something that i'm 100 percent on board to do it could be a two-month experience uh, experiment and if it works out good then it could be a permanent experiment right like that ideally you don't change something that's not broken um so yeah man i think I just haven't decided what the best day for it is. I don't know if I want to stick to still a Monday or still do a Thursday for the Twitter space AMA. So I'll do some research and see what's like the highest traffic days for Twitter. And maybe we can choose that day unless uh, somebody knows. Roof, if you know, or I know Elon Vitalik yeah. is uh, spending a lot of time on Twitter spaces. So I don't know if you guys know the statistic on that, but 
Um, I'll do yeah, some. Man, if we can I'll, take a nice day. Yeah, I'll do some research on hey, that. Hey, Leon. Oh, go on, Vitaly. Hey, you know, Vitaly here. Um, yeah, just, um, I think uh, weekends are definitely out yeah. because people are too busy. And I, I kind of feel like during the week, yeah, definitely. So maybe a Wednesday. Um, but um, so, like, a few of us guys in the community have been holding spaces every day um, for the past week. Um, and we're just calling it Shiba Doge Hangout or something like that. And yeah. It hasn't been formal. We're just hanging out. We're just chatting sometimes about crypto in general. Uh, and we know each other now, so mainly just like sometimes we chat about personal stuff. Sometimes we chat about what's happening in Shiba Doge. But we're just hanging out. We were just trying to get used to being on there. And getting a few on there and the first day we got like 20 people or something and just been getting about what four or five each day but different people each day so not everybody right. can not everybody can come on every day but i've just been switching it on and just seeing who comes on right but mm -hmm. i agree if we have one one per week everybody will come there and uh get They'll, they'll get used to it. It's just like, it'll just be like coming into the AMA on Telegram. It's just a different form of media, right? Yeah, exactly, man. An avenue. It'll open up an avenue um, for everyone else to come because when you look at um, Elon Musk, he had his space. He had 3 million people um, on there, and it's just like everyone just tuned in because everyone's got their notifications and everyone's got Elon Musk on the bell. And if everyone has Shiba Doge bell switched on, then you know they'll 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 come on and they'll just come and listen. They might not want to interact, but they're working in the background. Then they'll they'll come in and they'll just listen. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah for sure, man. I, I I think it'll be good, man. Because look, we have we have the Shill Army, right? Uh, the Shill Army has a pretty big presence on Twitter, so we can actually. Um, mm -hmm leverage the shill army that we have to to keep yeah. pushing the narrative that yo every week every let's let's call it thursday let's call it wednesday whatever every every thursday there is a uh, shiba doge twitter spaces right and if we yeah. talk about like trendy topics if if we talk about trendy topics every week dude we'll attract so many so much attention so much attention man and I'm seeing it happen live in front of my eyes, right? Like I see it happen uh, almost every day. Like I look at the Twitter spaces, people are having 20K, 50K, 100K people. And, you know, uh, I, I think we can we, easily like, achieve if that. Army, if the Shill Army come in, right? Just say we got 80 to 100 people in the Shill Army plus our holders, the rest of our holders. It, it, I think it helps the algorithm and it brings the Twitter spaces up. Um, and people start to take notice that, hey, this many people are in there. So even if exactly. we get army or, or everyone just to sit in there at least, if even if they're busy, just turn it on, you know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. No, I, 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 there's a way we could defeat the algorithm for sure. I mean, we already have a gold check mark on Twitter. Um, we'll be able to drive a lot of traffic. We actually have a bunch of people that we can collab with to have them shout out our Twitter spaces too if we need to. Um, but at the end of it, all it's going to come down to is consistency, bro. Consistency, consistency, consistency. If we do it every week without missing a beat and we always have a great show every single week and a great AMA every single week, um, I think, I think it will be working wonders for the project as far as retaining people, bringing people on board and kind of like penetrating a new audience. Because what I've noticed here is, yeah, we're growing on Telegram, but but the growth is uh, it could be accelerated. It could be it could be a lot better. Uh, not that I'm not that I'm not happy with the growth that we're having. I am happy with the growth that we're having. But I, uh, you know, I do think it can improve. And and look, like a lot of the people that are that are becoming holders on on Dex, the fifteen to twenty to fifteen to thirty daily holders that we get. I, I don't even know where they're coming from, right? Because they're not all coming into Telegram. They're not coming into Telegram. They're, they're finding our project from maybe like a, a Twitter post or maybe word of mouth or I don't, I don't know exactly where. 
the the important thing is like they know who we are they know what we are so they're they're becoming a holder I and mean, we see it on the in the chat all day right you know new holder buying 100 bucks here 500 bucks there 50 bucks here 50 bucks there they're not huge buys but but what does that mean that just means that they're like like the 74 dollar buy that came in a few minutes ago like uh at 2 54 p.m uh you know 74 dollars it's nothing crazy but whoever bought that they probably don't have much money to invest into anything, right? But the guy's like, okay, I have $74. I'm putting it into Shiba Doge. That means that these people actually believe that we can, you know, believe in us, that we can actually succeed. So uh, those little buys, they, they mean a lot to me because uh, they mean more than, than somebody coming and dropping in 50 grand because a guy who could come in and drop 50 grand, you know, most likely he could do that uh, 10 times over. But the guy who's dropping 75 bucks, that may be the last 75 bucks that he has uh, that he can invest. So I want to I want to do good for that's, those that's types how, of people, that's too. How we all, that's how we all started. Like, yeah, that's how I, my first investment in Shiba Doge was like 250, 300 bucks. And, you know, then when you gain confidence, it takes time. Um, I, I looked at a... I looked at a new project just for fun the other day, and uh, I just realized how difficult it is to actually go into a new project and actually go deep in as fast as possible without missing out on anything. It takes time. You've got to read up. Um, it takes you at least two weeks to read up and find out what's going on through their ecosystem. Um, and so it's like, you got to put yourself in a new holder's position and not realize, yeah, they're not going to be able to come in and buy both tokens, get an NF get pairs of NFTs and breed them straight away. It take it might take a whole month for them to go through that whole process. So it yeah. all starts with one one small you know, one more small foot in the door. Exactly, man. Exactly. And that's the thing is like, uh, it's like compounding, right? Compounding holders. So it's like the first set of holders that came in, the first set of holders have the NFTs, the first set of holders have the token, the first set of holders have burn, the first set yeah. of holders have bread, bread NFTs. Now imagine when like the seventh set of holders comes in in the future, and all of these items are all sold out to a point where it's like the seventh set of holders they're dying to get their hands on it because it's like an antique item now. It's like the OG item. So, you know, that creates a sense of value for those OG items in the future too. I mean, people are looking at it with one eye. They're like, okay, well, I bought this for a hundred bucks. It's only worth 50 bucks now. And they're like, they're, they're bearish on it, but that's not how you should be looking at it. You should be looking at it like, Hey, look, Shiba Doge has proven time and time after again, that, it's persistent. It's not quitting. It's continuing to move forward. Like I'm addicted to, to being successful. I'm not going to stop trying to be successful in, uh, in Shiba Doge. Like that's not going to ever happen. As long as you guys are all here, as long as the community, uh, uh, I'll stop when the last community member leaves and that ain't never going to happen. Right. So I'm not stopping. Um, but we've proven that. And I think a lot of people who are holders of our project and holders of our, our NFTs and, and our token, they understand that too. That's what that that that's what keeps them here, knowing that like, hey, per, per, at the end of the day, persistence is key, right? If if you if if LeBron James, for example, he's a basketball player, um, the, the best in the league right now. But if if he stopped playing basketball uh, when he was a kid just because he had one bad game, would he be where he's at right now? No. I mean, you get what I'm saying. This is the same way in in anything you do with whether it's in crypto, whether it's in work or whatever, as long as you keep going at it, as long as you keep breaking down the walls and not letting them stop you, you're, you're eventually going to break through and you're eventually going to achieve your goals. So we understand that and we have the, the means to, to, to continue with that path moving forward. And we have the resources to, to kind of support it, right? So at the end of the day, it just all comes down to persistency which we're good at, you know, we have these AMAs every single week. We never miss a beat, but um, I've come to a realization that we have to change things up. Sometimes change is good in, in a sense. Like um, I think the one, one a week Twitter spaces is, is going to be a big, 
a big leap for us, right? At the end of the day, if it doesn't work, we can always revert back to the way that we're doing things now. But I, I do really think it's going to work, and I do really think we're going to penetrate a new audience. One more thing that I want to point out is um, I'll let somebody else come up, but um, like we have a lot of, in the community, we have a lot of educated and a lot of informative people that I've learned from, you know, guys like Concrete, TD, Top Secret, Chivo. Chivo's been doing some seminars with some pretty cool, um, you know, high investor people. Uh, we've just been sharing so much knowledge and information on the Telegram, and that's why I was like, so let's get on Twitter Spaces and let's get let's get their word out because we have a our holders will have a pretty good reputation with the knowledge they have. Yeah, man. No, I agree, man. And and one other thing, one other thing that I like and um, I'm thinking maybe is not a bad idea to do in the future, which we haven't even talked about this with anyone. It's just an idea I just got right now, literally just on the same A. So, so look, we're going to be going on uh, a rampage trying to get new people to be a part of the community, right? And they go to our website and they see all the tools we have and they see all of the, the stuff we got going on, but they still want to continue to do more, more DD, right? More research, more due diligence. They, you know, they go on Twitter, they see we have 15,000 tweets, for example. They're like, damn, I'm never going to be able to read all these tweets. Like, oh, let me go check YouTube. They go to YouTube. They see there's like 600 hours of AMAs. They're like, fuck, I'm never going to be able to listen to all these. So um, I'm thinking what if like a good play would be to open up a forum on our website. So when we send people to our website, there is a forum there, like literal forums. People can open and close threads. And it'll be just Shiba Doge forums, right? Where people can have, we could have stickies, we could have like announcements there, we could have a timeline of everything that's happened. That may be a good idea. Um, so that's something I'll actually talk to all the rest of the guys about and see if um, we could have our devs start cooking something up and we can introduce a forum to our website because that way we can just, you know, talk to people, you know, tell them, you know, if you want to learn more, just go to shibadoge.com. And, and boom, all the information is there, or if they have any questions that they want, because not everybody has Telegram, not everybody has um, Discord, they might just have Twitter, they might just have, they might not even have Twitter, they might have just heard about us from a friend, they could just go to our website and, and you know, ask a question or, or just do their own research, and I think that's a, that's a pretty, pretty cool thing to have, and we can like have sticky notes of like the slippages and how to buy, how to sell, how to get involved. So I think I think just like restructuring the way the ease of use of becoming a community member and just um, becoming a holder, if we can streamline that, make it easier for people, I think we'll see a lot of growth just just by doing that as well. Yeah, that sounds great, Leo. Man, exciting. Yes, sir. Yeah, I agree, man. The Twitter space is. Are going to be much more better to have the AMAs on, like you said. A lot of new uh, members, faces will be in there, you know. Twitter's so active, man. There's thousands, hundreds of thousands of people on there consistently, you know. So, yeah. But like here, it's we just got to pick a day and do it. I think Wednesday is a good day. I'm not going to lie, because it's like right in the middle of the week. Yeah. And if you go on Google and just Type in the busiest times on Twitter. Um, they have a, they can, they have. I think they have a graph of of uh, when the busiest times are, when it's most active. So yeah, you can have yeah. a look at that as well. See, work out a time, you know, when it's most active. Yeah, I definitely don't want to do like Friday nights or weekends because that's when people go out and do things and you know go out yeah. with their friends or whatever so definitely not friday to sunday because nobody is going to want to attend anything then but wednesday or thursday definitely the, those those stand out to me those days stand out to me but i mean i don't know i don't know we'll have to figure it out i'll spend the next day or two kind of doing a little bit of research if you guys could do some research too and have your own opinions on it please let me know um, yeah but Whatever we do decide, whatever we do decide, I want to stick to it, and I don't, I don't ever want to change it up. I want to just stay consistent to it, so that we can, uh, people will always know, like, hey, Wednesday, 4 p.m., uh, Shiva Doge show. 
So yeah, and like you said, I can get the shilami to chill it out. You know, one week ahead. So you, I mean, I'm, you guys, yeah. m- you guys make some great posters. You know, the team, they make some great posters. Mm-hmm. I love the posters you guys make on Twitter. You know, we can use them. We can use them, and um, sh- we can just go to all the crypto um, influencers, drop it into their comment sections, and do that all week. You know. Definitely, man. I think we could do some cool things too, man. If I reach out to like newer uh, companies in the space or maybe not even in the space, but just trendy companies that have been trending um, and reach out to them and just like interview their product. It doesn't even have to be crypto. I think we can, we can just have bigger spaces like that too. So, I mean, it won't always have to be crypto related. I mean, it, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. The point of this exercise is to try to penetrate a broader audience and newer audience of people um uh, obviously ideally get them to become holders but um more or less i think this falls into the master plan of like hey let's make shiva doja household name and i think we have a good voice to to be able to to do that and and like i said before like i didn't know i had the capability to be able to come up and talk to people on uh on the stage like how i do now um but i i i uh, after a year i've become pretty good at it <laughs> and i mean i think we can leverage that uh, we can leverage that uh, yeah. to to see some success on on twitter after what you sent me yesterday man you killed it yesterday <laughs> <laughs> you can you can share that if you want i mean that's pretty funny okay okay i was not sure yeah yeah that was I mean, how did did you use a voice changer or? No, man, bro, dude, there's so many AI apps right now. So, so look, this is what I did, guys. Mm-hmm. So I, I copied my voice into an AI and the AI tried to recreate my voice. And then I, I wrote, I, I didn't write, I used AI to write a story about me and Roof playing hide and seek. And I told the AI to say it in first person as if I'm the one explaining the story. And I copied that whole script and I pasted it into the voiceover AI. And then it generated an MP3 file of, of me telling the story of me and Roof playing hide and seek. <laughs> so it was, a, it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, it sounds like you. I mean, if I was to listen to it carefully, I'd think it's you. But there is a yeah. slight, you know, there's, there's a slight change in the voice. Well, man, that is yeah. Crazy. So I was doing a little bit of research. I was doing a little bit of research, and um, I just need to like, I need to record my voice um, in a different way. Like, I gotta. There is a script that I have to read that script and record it, and that's how it gets the more accurate um, recognition of your voice. So I didn't do that. I just uploaded what you had sent me. So, but but it was still okay. It was still not bad. That was great, man. That was. Perfect. I'm gonna drop it in the main chat after the AMA so people can listen to it. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Yeah, the Twitter space, man. Let's do it, man. Let's do it weekly. Let's let's get out there. You know. Now we've got the regular people here that come every week, you know, and that's all good, but like the new people to grab them. We need to be on the Twitter spaces. Everyone's doing it. They're on the Twitter spaces, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love all of you guys that show up every week. And I, I, I truly honestly do. And I don't want to stop doing these. But I'm looking at it from a different perspective where it's like, all right, guys, like, as much as I love the same people showing up every week and seeing the support that I get every week from the same people, but we, we have to, we have to, like, we're not getting those 150, 200 people Telegram AMAs. Not that we're doing anything wrong, but it's because Telegram is kind of dead. Any, any, anywhere you go, um, any chat you go to, any crypto chat you go to, it's kind of like the same, same stuff going on there, right? So where's everybody at? Like, that's the, that's the main question. And then you look where they are, they're, they're mainly on Twitter. So I think, um, and the thing is with Twitter, Twitter actually posts your, your, your Twitter space on their home page, right on top. So it's like, people can just click on it from curiosity. Whereas telegram doesn't do that. I mean, I can, I'm having a, yeah. right now. there's nobody in different, different groups or people who don't follow our page that are getting a notification that 
yo, Shiba Doge has an AMA, so. Exactly. Um, once the AMA ends, then there's so many more people that are still on Twitter and they're going to go and listen to it, right? After it's recorded. So, like, sometimes I'm on Twitter and I'll see an AMA, um, like, it could be an Elon one where he had some kind of interview or whatever and it just pops up and I just start listening to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, right. exactly. And I mean, that's that's Elon, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, which, uh, did you guys... Did you guys watch the BBC interview? I know a lot of you guys were talking about it while it was live. Yeah, I knew he was going to get shafted by yeah. the BBC. We know the BBC obviously is UK, right? Uh, they, they always, yeah. I mean, you heard the questions, right? They were trying to really get him to say some stuff, right? <laughs> He's, yeah, but he got them good, dude. He got them real good. Yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, them questions, man, like, they really, they really planned out the questions, you know. You can tell the way they were asking the questions. They were trying to get him trapped. And Elon was just chilled, man. He's like, he started, he, he was like, he was interviewing them. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, he can't mess with that guy, bro. He knows what he's doing. He's, he's too smart. I think yeah. he's already got uh, that Neuralink thing installed in his brain, man. Yeah. He has to. He has to have that. Yeah, he just turned it on them. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't be surprised. Are you planning on having one? Nah, man. <laughs> nah, you don't want to. I chip. mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait till. I'll wait till like everybody else gets one, and I'll wait a few years to see if they they Mal- survive. And if they malfunction or not. <laughs> yeah. If they become zombies. Just like the vaccine, I, I I never got the COVID vaccine, dude. I refused to get it. Um, and I'm glad I, I didn't, but I, I know a lot of people in my family that did, and I mean, they're fine, but yeah, I always think like, you know, like what, what could, what, what are the side effects in the future that could happen? So I never try new stuff like that, dude. I had you after a few months of me watching other people. I was just, I knew, I knew who had you. And then I was like, let me see what happens to them. Then I'll have a, I'll probably get it done, you know? <laughs> Yeah. I do, I do that with everything, man. But yeah, I've been, I was fine. I didn't have any issues. But I had two, and then when they call me for the third one, I'm like, that's enough, man. I'm not having no more. Like, what the hell? Yeah, dude. The, the, I was looking at like some report. Um, I think it was posted on Instagram or something like that. Some some mm. Instagram page posted it. The Pfizer made like a hundred billion dollars just from the COVID vaccines, which is pretty crazy. So it was like three times the wow. annual revenue that they did um, for the past four years. I mean, dude, they made a lot of money and that's just one company. Yeah. So <laughs> that's how they make the money, man. I mean, I don't yeah, want go to go, I don't want to go too much into it because we're on YouTube and they may, start flagging us for talking about this oh yeah that's right yeah let's stop talking about it yeah i forgot about that yeah yeah you know you know how it is man start getting reported the next thing you know they're flipping youtube's on your case yeah yeah but yeah that's a good yeah, guys i mean that's the plan yeah Someone's just tell them they got good dead and he won't get in trouble what just tell them what they pay out good dividends, so you won't get in trouble. <laughs> oh yeah, that they like the the keyword dividend, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nah, man. We'll just stay out of trouble. We don't even like talking about things like that in here. We were used yeah. to talk about politics and all kinds of debatable stuff. People can, in my opinion, do whatever the hell they want as long as. Yeah, involve me. So <laughs> exactly. I mean, you can talk about your personal experience, but you can't, can you? Nowadays, because you get jumped on, man. Man, it's crazy. Yeah, you get jumped on. Like even on YouTube, like if you watch some of the YouTube videos, like when it comes to this subject, the YouTubers are like, "No way, man! I'm not gonna talk about it," you know, because they know. Yeah. They're gonna get flagged, and next thing you know, the channel will just be taken down. You know? Well, look, man, the world is very, you know, very weird place right now. Everybody is super sensitive to everything, which 
blows my mind as to how sensitive people can be for for every little thing. Exactly. When I was growing up in school, the the jokes that we would make towards each other and the things that we would say to each other, then laugh about. If you say those types of stuff now, man, they'll, <laughs> they'll crucify your ass, bro. Yeah, I can't man. believe how sensitive people have gotten. It, I don't know. Is it the food that people are eating or, or what's going on? I don't get it. But, man, I mean, like, I, I, I even have to tread carefully, right? Because I, yeah. I, I speak to a lot of people and we have a lot of people in our community. So, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who have different beliefs and a lot of people who have different um you know ways that they live their life so i I never really express my opinion because i everyone has their opinions right i have my opinions you guys have your opinions all that stuff but man like just uh, just like looking at the world from an outside point of view comparing it to like what we were in the early 2000s and the late 90s compared to right now it's a it's a completely different world, man. Pe- people cry just but for getting getting looked at the wrong way, which you know. Yeah, it's crazy. When man. I was growing up, yeah. When I, if I was growing up, somebody looked at me wrong, you'd go up to them and say, "Oh, what, what you looking at?" Now it's no. Please stop looking at me. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the, the problem is, you know, like all these companies are backing it as well. You know, the sensitivity of people. And yeah, yeah, they are. And that's the problem. Like, I can't just say something. If I say it, then they're gonna try and ruin my life. You know, if I can't, I can't give you my personal opinion on something. You know, that like, you got your own personal opinion. I've got my own personal opinions, right? What's the problem if I yeah. tell you my personal opinion? You may not like it. Fine, you know, but I'm not forcing it upon you, right? But these companies will just make your life hell. Um, the, the law, even in the UK, the law, man. You say something to someone, man. The law, the police will be knocking on your door, man. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, did you say this to this person? I'm like, well, I've I've heard of people having these issues where they've said something. Next thing you know, the police is knocking on the door, and they're like, man, why didn't go out and catch real criminals, man? You know, the real criminals yeah. that. Are, well, well yes, there's a difference. There's a big diff. Sorry, did I cut out? No, okay, I'm still here. Okay, yeah, there's a big difference in like people bullying people. I'm not for that. I hate when people bully people. I'll always yeah. step in and, and, and stop it if I see it. But yep. being able to like express yourself uh, without without having a war start, that, that's a different story, right? Like people should be able to express themselves and, and be able to talk about their beliefs. Like, there shouldn't be one singular thing that people are looking at from the outside point of view and being like, Hey, this can't be said online and that can't be said online. Yeah. Like, no, everything should be able to be said the same way. And everyone's reaction to it shouldn't be like, Hey, immediately, like, you know, go hang that guy. Like that's not how it should be. <laughs> they, they should give people, they should give them a, re- uh, a, a opportunity to explain why he even believes that, or he doesn't even right. need to explain it. Right. Like that, that's just what the guy believes. So yeah, you know it, it is what it is. Like it is what it is. This is the world we live in. So there's nothing that I can personally do to change it, and there's nothing that you can personally do to change it either. You just have to kind of be aware of what's going on, be aware of your surroundings, still believe in whatever you're going to believe, no matter what. Don't let anybody change your mind on that. Like everybody has their own beliefs, yeah. and and that's what that's what makes us unique, and that's what makes us people. But you know what I, the, the only advice i give you is don't don't take everything too seriously man life is not that serious like yeah. the only things that you should be taking seriously is your well-being your family's well-being and and literally just like spending as much time with your family as you possibly can because at the end of the day that's all you got that's the only people who care about you no matter what you think no yep. matter how much you think your friends and stuff care about you it, it's not even a fraction of what your family uh, amounts to so you know a lot of people lose sight on that and and they think like hey man um i'm gonna try to be a people pleaser i want to be liked by these people i want to be liked by those people but then they they stop spending enough time with their family and stop giving enough attention to their family so that they can they yeah. can you know give attention to people who don't deserve it right so yep that's all it is, man. That's all it is. Don't be sensitive. Don't be shy. But just stay in your lane because right now it's a dangerous place to to let your opinions be known. And it's like 
yeah, I mean, I wish I can go out there and say whatever I want, but I don't because I know I'm in the, I'm in a place right now where, you know, like I have a lot of diversity in the people that I speak to and, yeah. you know, I respect everybody and respect everyone's decisions. So I'm never going to put myself in a position where I could start like something, um, yeah, controversial exactly. with, with anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you was to speak to me and you, you you had a certain opinion, I had a certain opinion, I'd be like, fair play, that's your opinion and this is my opinion. And that would be it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have any bad ill towards you or feel like I have to report you or something, you know? Right. Exactly. Be, like, fine, man, you that's your point of view. This is mine. You can listen to mine. I'll listen to yours. And that's that's the end of it, man. But like you can't give your point of view nowadays so that's just the way it is man and that's that's because it's backed by the law you know the law backs it and that's what that's the main problem so like um that that shot so people had you know the shot i'm gonna call it the shot the jab the jab the, let's call it the jab yeah like the jab people had, you know, like some people had it, some people didn't. Different people had different opinions. Um, I didn't like argue with them or anything, you know. I'm like, they're like, there's this happening and that's happening and all these conspiracies or whatever. And I'm like, that's fine, you know. I personally went by um, looking at my community, my local community. I know the people that had it. And I noticed that the people that didn't have it, were getting going into hospital and the ones that did were just having a little bit of a temperature or whatever and they were fine so i went yeah. off i went off of that data that i saw going on in the community like one guy um had the didn't have the jab in a family in the whole family the whole family got it that guy died the guy that didn't have the jab so right that's that's what that's why I went and had it after I was like I'm just gonna have it man because my I'm seeing the data in my community and I'm seeing that having it might be a better option, but then you got the other side where they're saying the opposite that people that are having it they're seeing they're the ones that are having that are going into hospital so you know but I got no ill ill intent ill feelings towards anyone you know that's your opinion which is fine you know. But people just yeah, make a exactly, big, man. big deal out of it, you know, uh, where, where it's not necessary. At the end of the day, but hey, man, it's nice to talk about all these things, but <laughs> we gotta keep it controlled, right? That's right. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's pretty much what we've got going on, ladies and gentlemen, for for the, the plans of moving forward with uh, the way that we do do things with marketing and the AMAs. I think um, that's that, that was the topic of discussion today. And I think we're going to see some good results from it. Um, yeah. All we've got to do is, is just keep doing it. You know, we may not see results the first time or the first two times, but if we keep doing it, we're going to keep, keep getting better at it and we're going to keep seeing, seeing new people. So. Bullish. That's bullish. pretty much it. Love it. Yeah, we put Chris we put Chris Scott to sleep with this AMA, bro. Chris Scott, sorry, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Twitter spaces. Some bullish news coming. <laughs> That's well, right. Are we gonna have some nah, kind man, of a, com just a competition or oh. are you gonna give a, do some giveaways or anything like that? For Twitter spaces? Yeah. We, yeah, we may do things here and there. I, I do want to start introducing things like that. Um, mm. But I don't want to immediately do it because okay. I want to see if people are going to come in because of what we're talking about or are they just going to come in because there is like a prize involved, right? So right. a lot of times, a lot of times um, it, it's, it's hard to gauge that interaction when you have prizes involved so yeah i won't do it a lot and I, I won't do it immediately because i want to see like what the rate of growth is without it and then when we do start doing like prizes and things like that then we'll then we'll be able to see like okay hey we introduced the prize and we saw like 300 more people come to this week so yeah then we'll be able to know like who's really here just just for the prizes and who's really here just because they want to they, they you know they want to 
listen to the discussion or or do do some research or whatever. So yeah, yeah sounds I mean, good. I mean, we'll do prices. Yeah, yeah. Just let just let let me know when you decide. I'll give you the information as well that I find on the peak, the busiest hours of on Twitter. But as soon as you guys uh, give a time and a date, then I'll get it shilled out, man. I'll get the shill army on it. I'll get the community on it, and we'll get it get it buzzing on Twitter, you know. So. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we'll do everything on our part too to reach out to to our Twitter guys. I'm, I'm not going to do it initially, like the first time, the first time or the second time. I won't do it initially because yeah. I just want to see how organically, like with just the shill army and with just like our Twitter presence and our name, like. What, what are we able to pull in the first like you know two three times yeah and then after that we'll start promoting them and we'll start we'll start getting um some more eyes on it uh i just want to see how 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 the numbers look organically first uh just so that we can have like a a framework and and uh, be able to gauge our growth moving forward with, with the marketing exercises that we do love it man great idea leo anyways i mean that's exciting stuff right there, you know. Yes, sir. And then I'll just hop in, I'll hop in on Telegram whenever you know we got to chit chat and and have some fun and and just talk to you guys like normal people instead of like, you know, having uh having formal AMAs every single time you guys talk to me on on Telegram. So I think it'll be good. All in all, you know, you guys will get to know me better on a different you know, on a different scale, and I'll get to know you guys better on a different scale while we're also still having the same um the same uh results for having amas just except now we'll be having them on twitter and we'll having them we'll be having them once a week instead of twice a week so yeah yeah man i think it's going to be nice and we'll have more information to talk about during the once a week amas too uh, rather than having you know two and people come in uh on the second one of the week and they miss the first announcement and they're like oh you know today's AMA mm-hmm. is kind of boring because you know leo didn't announce anything so so yeah man i think it's all in all it's good yeah i mean you're not gonna announce something every week even you know like you guys are developing right so a development isn't going to be finished in it every week right like there's not going to be yep. something every week so to go on the twitter spaces and explain our project so that new people can listen will definitely bring us much more holders than you just do on TG, man, to the regular people. I mean, that's a great idea, just coming in and talking to the regular people occasionally. Um, uh, But the Twitter spaces is, is going to be great. I'll just, if it's consistent, then it'll be, it'll, it'll do really good. So. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Love it, man. Yes, sir. Now, with that said, guys, I mean, does anybody have anything they want to add on before we wrap this up? I know Chris is sleeping. Elon Vitalik already talked. Cousin KK. Yeah, Cousin KK, man, nothing today. (laughs) Chivo? No, I'm just chilling. Oh. Chilling, chilling. Great news. No, no. Great news. Uh, yeah, Twitter space is going to be great. Like Elon V. Vitalik said, we get on there every once in a while and just chop it up. Whatever comes to anybody's mind, we just chop it up, spit on it, and see what happens. So it's all good. Come on in. And uh, Twitter spaces, that'll be the way to go. I'm happy. Yes, and go Ethereum. Go Ethereum. Went up 85% today, probably more. It's the way forward. Leo 85%? Called. Oh, man, I wish it went up 85%. Yeah. I saw that, 80, 85%. That was about 2, 3 p.m. my time. Really? No yeah. way. Dude. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll check it again, but that's what I saw. That must have been a glitch, dude. 85% would have put us at, like, over three grand. Um, I'll check it again, but no, that was... <laughs> So I said 2 p.m. my time, 3 p.m. my time, UK. It is over three gram. It's only up 4% for the day. Uh, I must have, yeah, it must have been a glitch, but that's, I saw whatever I was looking at. Wait, where are you guys looking at ETH to be over three grand? I'm, I know, I just for me, my Robin Hood. 
build it out like three grand. Or wait a minute, two grand? No. Hey. Two grand. Two, two grand. grand, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was about to be like, bro, where are you guys looking? Because I'm sending all my E there <laughs> <Yeah>. right now. <laughs> yeah, no, life for the day. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, three grand, three grand next, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Three grand oh, yeah. next. So. Yeah, we're getting there. But yeah, it's all right. good. Good news. Good news. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and wrap this up here. Um, if you guys need anything, let me know. I know some people were uh, messaging me about some some people who had, hadn't gotten a prize that they had won in uh, previous giveaways. I'm looking into all of them one by one right now just to make sure because you know, some people do try to um, send me things like that just to, just to get free stuff sometimes. But I know uh, a lot of people who have been messaging me are are real people and not like, you know, randos. So I'm looking into all of them and I'll, I'll get back to you guys all probably by the weekend. So, um, I'm aware of all, pretty much almost all of them that I'm aware of. If, if you're affected by anything like that, just shoot me a DM and I'll look into yours too, but please don't spam me. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, I don't really have anything else. Rocket man, you, uh, you're unmuted. You have something to say? No, I was just talking about the ETH. Oh, okay, gotcha. Chilling, chilling. All right, perfect. Um, but yeah, man, that's all I have for today. Uh, now we'll most likely be back here on Monday, just just to just to still be back here. But I do want to start kicking off the Twitter Space AMAs like ASAP. Um, so I, I still have to pick a date and do all that. So until I do that, um, we'll we'll continue things as as. Uh, normal in here unless i come up with something by the weekend and, and then we'll transition over but yeah man just to expect this if people in the chat ask um you know where our amas are or whatever just let them know we're going to start doing them on twitter so yeah uh i'll keep you guys posted i'll keep you guys updated as to what to expect with the armory and some updates on that hopefully next week um also we'll try to give you guys some updates on on um the war zone next week so we'll we're gonna be putting things into high gear and good things coming baby let's go with all that being said ladies and gentlemen if you miss doge that sucks if you miss shiba that also sucks if you miss shiba doge i still love you guys but you suck <laughs> <laughs> let's go let's go all right guys i'm out of here Leo. Did you figure yeah, anything out? Going? When's uh how you doing? When's Burn gonna are you gonna do something for Burn? You said pretty soon. Did you know when? Yeah, we're probably okay. So the anniversary is coming up in like nine days, I think. So by Tuesday, we'll we'll already have the finalized plan and we'll 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 let you guys know by Tuesday, Wednesday, the absolute latest what's going on. But it's not gonna be nothing crazy, you know. Like we've we've already um stated that that it's not gonna be anything big and crazy but but it will still be something cool that you guys can benefit from so um I'll, I'll make a pin message on that next week thanks for sure <clears throat> also if you're in the united states next tuesday is tax day so uh, i'm not looking forward to that but anyway all right guys i'll talk to y'all love you guys peace love peace